Welcome to Cokes Ferry's Camp Firelight VBS. We're so excited to meet up this summer at the Camp Firelight Pavilion as we set out on a summer camp adventure with God. Through Camp Firelight VBS, children will learn to trust in God in every situation, especially when sharing God's love with others. From science experiments and crafts to incredible music and powerful Bible stories, this summer, everyone at Camp Firelight VBS will learn to put their trust in God. Our theme verse for Camp Firelight is called the Camp Callout. All teaching and discovery points to this overall verse in Psalms 56 and 3. Whenever I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Campers will learn to trust and serve God together by focusing on key learnings each session. Each of these is called a firelight focus and ties into each session's Bible story. Campers will learn to trust in God, to go with us, to lead the way, to share wisdom, to give us peace and to spark joy. And best of all, they'll learn to trust in God in all these ways at VBS, at church, at home, and in every area of their lives. In each session, children can collect a scripture treasure featuring a key learning, which they can add to their scripture treasure lanyard. Cokesbury Kids VBS is always designed to be adaptable to your group. So whether you're a large church or small, you have many children participating, or just a few, Camp Firelight VBS can be perfect for you. Now let's take a closer look at some of the components that make Camp Firelight so special. Assembly time is where the Camp Firelight theme comes to life. Children called campers here at Camp Firelight VBS gather for assembly time each session in the pavilion. Surrounded by water, trees, rolling hills, it's the perfect location for every camper's favorite summer activities. During assembly sessions, campers join first time camp counselor Sam, as well as Lou the lightning bug, and learn to face their fears while trusting in God. With the help of Lou the lightning bug and the camp counselor guidebook, counselor Sam and our campers explore timeless Bible stories that show how the Old and New Testament heroes trusted God in the face of their own fears and went on to do great things in God's name. Bible adventure videos and music videos help bring the Bible stories and key learnings to life. The Bible adventure videos feature a fun animated style and continue the tradition of funny, entertaining retellings of timeless Bible stories that have an integral part of Cokesbury Kids VBS. The very first book of the Bible, Genesis, tells us the story of God's people through God's perfect creation and God's promises to humanity through the family of a man named Abraham. Abraham had a son who then had two sons of his own. One of those sons was named Jacob, and he was very sneezy. <gasps> I mean, he was very sneaky. You see, even though they were twins, Jacob was born second, and that meant his brother would get a bird bite and a messing. Wait, that's weird. I meant to say his brother would get a birthright and a blessing, which was a special right and privilege given to the oldest son in the family. That didn't stop Jacob, however. He tricked his twin brother Esau out of his birthright inheritance and tricked their father Isaac into giving him a special blessing instead of his brother Esau. When Esau realized he had been tricked, he was very angry. He was so angry, in fact, that Jacob swam away from home. Wait, that doesn't sound right. He ran away from home. Jacob quickly left his home and made his way from Beersheba to Haran. This journey was about 500 miles and would take him many, many days to complete. While on his way, Jacob stopped to rest for the night. Since he forgot to pack his travel pillow, he found the nearest rock to lay his head on. Jacob didn't need to be rocked to sleep that night. He was a tired guy who quickly fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. Have you ever had a dream that seemed so colorful and so realistic that when you woke up, it felt like it really happened? Well, that is exactly what happened to Jacob. That night, Jacob dreamed about stairs. That's right, he dreamed about stairs. These weren't small stairs though. 
No, these were huge stairs. Imagine a huge ladder, bigger than you've ever seen, reaching from the ground all the way up to heaven. It was a stairway to heaven. On the ladder, Jacob saw God's angels going up and down from the earth to heaven. Suddenly, he saw God standing on the ladder. God spoke to Jacob and said, Hello, Jacob. I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather and the God of your father. I will give you and your family the land in the place where you are lying down. God went on to say that Jacob's children and their children would be dusty. Oops. God actually said that they would be like the dust of the earth, spreading out everywhere. God promised to be with Jacob and his family and to never leave. When Jacob awoke, he realized that God had been in that place with him, even though he didn't realize it at first. This place is awesome, he said. So Jacob took his special sleeping stone and changed it from a pillow to a pillar. He poured some oil on it and named the place Bethel, or God's house. Then Jacob made a promise to God, stating that if God protected him, gave him food and clothing, and a safe return home, then the Lord would not just be his father and grandfather's God, but the Lord would be his God too. You see, Jacob trusted God to go with him on his journey, and God was faithful to him. I know it may be hard to believe, but that's just how it happened in the Bible. This year's music reminds us that we can trust God. Our music producer, Andy Wilson, is back with a brand new collection of songs based on our theme, the key learnings, and Bible stories. We have energetic music as well as more reflective music in this program. And each song has a corresponding music video with lyrics and easy to follow choreography. This all kicks off with the amazing, exciting campfire light theme. Let's watch the music video and hear from Andy about this year's theme song. Hello everybody, so glad that you're joining us for this Camp Firelight Workshop. I'm Andy Wilson and I'm the writer and producer of the music for this year's VBS curriculum. I've done this for several years now and I can tell you that this year was one of the more fun years that I've had thinking through how to get music that really captures the Camp Firelight experience. Uh, one of the reasons is because I never got to experience a camp like this. I would see things like this kind of on TV, like you'd see camps at the Disney Channel and things like that, or Nickelodeon. I mean, it maybe dates me for how old I am. But I would see these camps and I would be like, that looks like so much fun. And now Cokesbury has encapsulated that experience into a VBS curriculum that teaches and encourages and equips kids um, in their relationship with Jesus Christ, which is awesome. So this year we've written 10 new songs that completely go with this theme. They're all original and they all relate to the stories and the scriptures that are presented each day of the week with Camp Firelight. There's all different kinds of music. We have a theme song, obviously, right? The title of the theme song for Camp Firelight VBS is, any guesses? Drum roll, this is super original. Camp Firelight. <laughs> now Camp Firelight came about as I thought about entering into a camp where you may know a bunch of people or you may not know many people at all. I thought of what I would want someone to do for me if I was someone that was coming to camp and may have never been there before and may not have a whole slew of friends. Maybe this is my first time. Maybe I'm a kid from the community that this is my first time ever coming to your church um, to experience a VBS. And so the chorus of Camp Firelight says, welcome one, welcome all, welcome to Camp Firelight. That's the message that I would want to hear. And that's the message I think that God, in the invitation God offers us through Camp Firelight, which is welcome one, Welcome all, come to Camp Firelight and learn about the love and grace of Jesus. So I hope you enjoy the theme song. It's gonna hopefully make you get up, wanna clap, wanna dance a little bit. But this is Camp Firelight, the theme song for VBS this year.
One of the songs that I wanted to highlight right now is a song called Firelight Chant. And the reason that that song even came to be was I was picking up my daughter from a camp that she was at. And it was about lunchtime and I was walking around and I heard this enormous raucous of noise coming from um, the cafeteria. And basically what had happened was all throughout the week, these kids had learned these chants and it all erupted in this cafeteria and the kids were stomping and clapping and chanting um, these camp chants basically as loud as they could. It was almost deafening, but it was awesome. The engagement was incredible to see and the kids looked like they were having an incredible time. So I thought we need a chant like that for Camp Firelight. So there's a song that kind of embodies that um, experience called Firelight Chant. You know? God, you go with us, you lead the way, you share your wisdom, you get peace along the way, and you spark joy, so we shine bright. Through it all, we learn to trust a campfire. <laughs> God, you go with us, you lead the way, you share your wisdom, you get peace along the way, and you spark joy, so we shine bright. My hope and prayer is that the music for Camp Firelight helps reinforce the scripture, the stories, and the messages of Jesus' love and all the stories throughout the Bible that we cover in the curriculum. My hope is that months from now, kids will be humming these songs, not just because they're humming the songs because they like them, but because they help remind them of the truth of God's word and what that means to them as they learned through the Camp Firelight VBS. So I hope that you are encouraged as you listen to the music, and I hope your kids are encouraged as they experience Camp Firelight. Now let's get to the most important part of VBS, the Bible story. Whether through the Bible adventure videos in assembly time, or through one of the story options in the Bible Storyteller Station, an engaging and powerful story will be a crucial part of every camper's VBS experience. Each session in the Camp Firelight Bible Story offers multiple ways for your campers to experience the Bible story. We offer a complete Bible drama script that can be used in many ways including puppets, table reading by your campers, or a full production with a small team of actors. For smaller VBS teams, there's a single storyteller script that will invite your campers to get involved in telling the story in fun and unique ways. The Bible Storyteller book also includes life application and active learning sections and excellent closing prayer experiences. If your church doesn't include a reflection time for your campers, 
The Reflection Time Leader includes additional questions to help your campers dig deeper into the story and key lessons. Finally, the Bible Story Station is a great place to hand out the Scripture treasure lanyards with pill and stick medallions to help campers remember the lessons of each day. The first session's Bible story is God Goes with Jacob from Genesis chapter 28. Jacob is the second born son of twin boys. After his mother, Rebecca, helps him trick his father, Isaac, and steal the birthright and blessing from his older brother, Esau, Jacob runs away. Along the way, Jacob stops to rest for a night and has a dream where messengers of God are going up and down a giant staircase or ladder. Then God appears in the dream and speaks to Jacob. In the dream, God doesn't condemn Jacob. Instead, God promises to bless Jacob with land, many descendants, protection, and other blessings. Jacob promises to follow God. When he wakes up, Jacob remembers the dream and realizes that God was with him all along and can be trusted. Then Jacob takes the stone where he rested his head, turns it upright, anoints it with oil, and uses it as a pillar to mark this holy place. Jacob called it Bethel, or God's house. From this story, campers learn that even as we face the fear of unknown, like Jacob, we can put our trust in God and trust God to go with us. Next, campers will move into the book of Ruth and learn about Ruth and Naomi. Ruth chapter one tells us about Naomi, a woman from Bethlehem living in Moab in a time of famine and her two Moabite daughters-in-law. After the death of Naomi's husband and two sons, the famine ends and Naomi decides to return to Bethlehem. Though Naomi encourages her daughters-in-law to stay in Moab and find new husbands, one of them, Ruth, chooses to return to Bethlehem with Naomi. Though Naomi had experienced much loss, the end of the famine served to remind her that God was with her and would make a new life for her at home in Bethlehem. In choosing to stay with Naomi and follow her to Bethlehem, Ruth is also choosing to follow God. Ruth even tells Naomi, your God will be my God. Ruth and Naomi arrive in Bethlehem and are warmly greeted just as the barley harvest is beginning. God led the way to a new life. Through the story of Ruth choosing to go, campers are invited to trust and see God leading in our own lives and in the lives of others. In the session three Bible story, we move to the New Testament with Young Jesus Shares Wisdom from the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke. This is a story of a trip Jesus and his parents make to Jerusalem for Passover. On the way home, his parents, Mary and Joseph, realize that Jesus is not traveling with them and must be back in Jerusalem. After three days of going back to Jerusalem and searching, Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple, listening to and asking questions of the teachers. Mary asks Jesus why he has treated them like this and tells him that they have been worried. Jesus responds by asking why they were looking for him and telling them it was necessary for him to be in God's house. Jesus knew that one way for him to receive God's wisdom was by being in the temple and spending time listening to and talking with the teachers there. Doing this was one way Jesus demonstrated wisdom and shared it with others. This story invites campers to consider how we, like young Jesus, can begin the journey of pursuing God's wisdom and sharing God's wisdom throughout our lives. The fourth story at Camp Firelight VBS takes us for a boat ride with Jesus on the Sea of Galilee with Jesus Calms the Storm found in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out to cross the Sea of Galilee and teach the people who lived on the other side. As they traveled, Jesus fell asleep and a storm arose with crashing waves and heavy winds. As the storm grew, the disciples grew fearful and woke Jesus up. They asked him, teacher, don't you care that we're drowning? Instead of answering their question, Jesus stood up in the boat and told the storm to be still. At these words, the storm settled and Jesus asked the disciples why they were frightened. This left the disciples in awe, wondering who Jesus was that the wind and sea would obey him. Jesus trusted God to give him peace, so much so that he went to sleep in the boat and simply commanded the storm to stop. Jesus gave peace to the disciples and gives peace to us. Through this story, campers learn that we can ask God for peace during the storms that crash against our lives 
and we can know that God is with us through it all. The last story is about one of Jesus' disciples in the early church, Philip. The good news sparks joy from Acts chapter 8. Here, the book of Acts tells the story of an angel from God telling Philip to change direction and take the road from Jerusalem to Gaza. Answering this call, Philip comes upon a man from Ethiopia, riding in a carriage and reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asks the man if he understands what he is reading. The man asks Philip how he could without someone to guide him. Philip sits by the man in his carriage and explains that the passage points to the coming of Jesus, the good news about Jesus' death and resurrection, and the grace we receive from God through Jesus. After hearing this good news, the Ethiopian man sees some water and asks what would keep him from being baptized. The carriage is stopped and Philip baptizes him. The Spirit takes Philip to another place and the Ethiopian man goes on his way full of joy sparked by this good news. Through this story, campers are invited to consider how, like Philip, we can respond to God's love and grace, how we can share it with others, and how we can trust God to spark joy in our own lives as we live out this key part of our own discipleship. Recreation is a great time to explore the key learnings from VBS in creative and active ways. In the Recreation Leader Guide, we have provided four great theme-related options for each session. They are number one, high intensity, number two, medium intensity, number three, low intensity, and number four, preschool or kindergarten recreation. The Recreation Leader Guide comes in the starter kit. It provides your rec leader with scripts, instructions, Bible tie-ins, and a list of materials needed for each activity. You can find the specific games in the Rec Leader Guide and on the overview chart. Here's a demonstration of one of our Camp Firelight recreation activities. Okay, so we're gonna play this fun game. It's called Wherever You Go, I'll Go. Okay? okay. So what we have here, how many hula hoops do we have set up? Can y'all count? Four. Four hula hoops, right? And so what we are going to do is I'm gonna call on one person to come from where they're sit seated and they're gonna stand in the hula hoop, okay? And everybody pays attention to which one they stand in. After that person has stood in the hula hoop, they're gonna go back and sit down. I'm gonna call a second friend. They're gonna come and stand in which hula hoop? The first hula hoop that their friend stood in. Then they're gonna pick a second hula hoop to stand in. Then they're gonna go back and sit down. I'm gonna call a third person. They're gonna come up, stand in the first hula hoop. They're gonna stand in the second hula hoop. They're gonna stand in a third hula hoop. And then they're gonna go sit down. Does everybody understand the game? Okay, awesome. So, Leona, you pick first. All right, you picked one. So go sit down after you picked one. Good job. Okay, who wants to go next? Okay, you wanna go next? Good, come on next. It's okay, you can sit right there, you're good. All right, pick the first and then the second. Good job, who would like to go next? Oliver, you wanna go next? All right, let's see if we can remember. First one. No, that's mine. Yep, that's yours, Leona. <laughs> okay, okay, three right here. All right, okay. Madeline, you wanna go next? Okay, Madeline, your turn. Let's see if she can remember. No, that's mine. Yep, that's mine. Yep, no, 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 where should she go? Where should she go next? Orange. Does anybody remember what the third one was? Which was it? Orange. Let's go. Orange and yellow. Okay. Good. Now, which one do you want to go in, Madeline? All right. So, in today's Bible story, two women stick together and let God lead them. We just played this game where we work together to remember a pattern. Now. How hard would it have been, raise your hands, if you had to do it all by yourself without any help? What do you think, Oliver? Would it have been easy or hard? Easy. You would have been easy? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. What do you think, Madeline? 
Would it have been easy or hard to do it all by yourself? <laughs> really easy? Y'all are so smart. Y'all are really smart because me, I was thinking it was hard. I could not remember. And I think when some of y'all were up here, you were having kind of a hard time remembering too. Maybe you just don't want to admit it, right? But our lesson today is that if we all work together, we can face our challenges a lot easier. God provides us with family and friends to help us face those difficult situations. And it's easier to face difficult situations when we work together as God wants us to. Camp Firelight VBS offers two types of crafts in the Craft Leader Guide. Make it and take it, or Bible crafts, and Cokesbury Purchase Crafts. This year, we have six Cokesbury crafts available for purchase. For session one, we have a camp journal. This craft involves peel and stick, stacking, and threading or tying skills. Start by placing the journal pages between the covers, then thread the leather string through the pre-punched holes and tie. Follow this up by adhering the title on the front cover and add other decorations as desired. This craft is fun for all ages, but the younger children may need some help with spelling. For session two, we have a stained glass campfire. This simple craft involves gluing multicolored pieces of tissue paper onto a clear base and covering them with a clear die cut outline sticker. Once complete, campers love seeing the light shine through their creations. For session three, we have two craft options. First, we have the Trust God bead bracelet a simple bead stringing activity with a wearable end product campers will love to show off. We also have the Create a Campsite poster. This peel and stick activity gives imaginative campers a chance to design their own version of Camp Firelight with tents, trees, flowers, and more to create an exciting memory. For session four, we have the Raised Edge Cross. This versatile craft can be decorated in a variety of ways with many different materials and can help you offer campers an opportunity to express the unique creations of God they are. And finally, in session five, we have a firefly jump up. This fun craft results in a more fun toy for children to take home with them the last day of VBS and enjoy. In addition to these purchase crafts, we also have make it and take it crafts that are designed to use common craft supplies that you may already have in your supply closet. Snacks are some people's favorite part of VBS and we have snack lovers covered at Camp Firelight. Each session has three snack options, a theme snack that is an exciting snack for all ages, a quick and easy snack, and a Bible story snack. The Snack Leader Guide is available in the digital download files that come with your Ultimate Starter Kit or your Digital Access Kit or for purchase at CokesburyVBS.com if you're not using a kit. The Snack Leader Guide includes recipes, assembly instructions, and photos for each snack. It also includes allergen information for each snack so you can plan the best snacks for your group. Like other Cokesbury Kids VBS programs, Camp Firelight VBS features two science experiments for each session to tie into the Bible story and Firelight Focus. We have easy experiments, STEM experiments, big colorful experiments, lots of different ways to capture your camper's imaginations while learning about the incredible science of God's world. We've also included special experiments in the Science Leader Guide that are just for preschoolers. Today, let's look at a couple of science experiments from Camp Firelight VBS. This experiment is called Pepper Storm from session four, Jesus Calms the Storm. You'll need a glass bowl, dish soap, a sticker, some water, and some black pepper. Place a sticker on the table beneath the glass bowl and fill the bowl with water. Next, add a thin layer of black pepper to the surface of the water so that the sticker is obscured by the pepper. Try moving the pepper away to see the sticker. It's tough to do. However, here's where the experiment kicks in. Put some dish soap like this on a finger and touch your finger to the surface of the water. See how the dish soap breaks the surface tension of the water and moves the pepper to the side? Now you can see your sticker. 
This is called Holy Spirit Balloon Experiment. From session five, the good news sparks joy. You'll need an empty two liter soda bottle, a few balloons, and a drill. Use the drill to make a hole in the side of the bottle, around a quarter of an inch, enough to be able to close with a fingertip. Next, place the balloon inside the mouth of the bottle and stretch the neck of the balloon around the outside of the bottle, like this. Try blowing up the balloon inside the bottle. It works just fine. Now, place your finger over the hole you drilled to close it. Try blowing up the balloon again. Without giving the air inside the bottle a way to escape, you prevent the balloon from inflating. Like the past few years, we're creating how-to videos so you can see each experiment from start to finish. In addition to the videos, there are also step-by-step -step pictures in the Science Leader book. You can view the videos for all 10 experiments when you download them from the free resources section of CokesburyVBS.com. Be on the lookout for these video files coming in the next few weeks. So that is a brief overview of Cokesbury Kids Campfire Light VBS. We hope this has been a fun and informative overview of the program, and we hope that you have a great time at the Camp Firelight Pavilion, showing all your VBS campers how we can trust God to be with us in every situation. Remember to make Cokesbury Kids VBS your own. We design our programs to be adaptable to fit your needs. Whether you're hosting a full five session VBS, a weekend retreat, a one-day camp firelight extravaganza, or anything in between, our leader guides are full of information to equip you to put on the best program for your people. And be sure to check out the free resources page on CokesburyVBS.com, where you'll find all kinds of digital items to assist you in making camp firelight come to life. Items like choreography tutorials, printable forms, as well as the camp firelight missions guide. And finally, I would like to say thank you for all the work you've been doing to reach out to children in Jesus' name and to help them stay connected to God and encouraged to serve God and our neighbors wherever they are. On behalf of the whole Cokesbury Kids team, thank you. Have a great time with Camp Firelight VBS. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today and um, for this uh, very brief and quick training. Um, it is, uh, I'm Scott Spradley. I'm the director for Cokesbury Kids, and I so appreciate you and your ministry and your work with children um, uh, to lift up the name of Jesus and to make our world a better place. So grateful to you for all that you're doing. And um, now I think it's time for Q&A. So I'm going to start, uh, I think some questions will start uh, feeding to me and I'll answer some of your questions. Where can you find the Snack Leader booklet? It isn't, uh, it isn't in the kit or the free resources um, section. Uh, so the Snack Leader is in the Leader Guide folder in the free download or in the downloads that um, you access by using the download um, card uh, that is found in either of the kits you purchase or you can purchase the Snack Leader. Um, in the past, we've provided this free, um, but it, now it is it's for uh, folks who purchase a kit that comes with with that, or you can purchase it download. Thanks. Is this a site where everyone can come to and share ideas? Um, absolutely. Um, Cokesbury VBS um, is our private Facebook group, 
And that is a great place to come and share ideas and get help from your fellow VBS leaders. Um, and we also monitor that and try to um, answer questions as quick as we can. Or if you need help, um, Cokesbury VBS at Cokesbury.com. Uh, so there are two free guides that we that are in process. They're complete, but we need to do some editing work on them. Uh, one is the worship guide. Um, it is it, it should be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, the other is the youth adult study. Um, th those are both free resources for you. Uh, youth adult study should be coming in the next um, in the next week, and then um, the worship guide um, in the next week or so, in the next couple of weeks. Thanks. I wanted to see decorating ideas. Any place we can find examples? Um, well, the dec the decorating guide for sure um, that's in the kit is one place. Uh, there is also a decorating video, I think that's on our website uh, that you can look at. And then I'm hoping that uh, you guys will uh, share your great ideas with each other as you have in the past. And then there's also Pinterest. Where are the free things? I uh, can't catch where. Uh, CokesburyVBS.com, there is a tab called free resources, and then you want to select the program that you are using, um, which in this case is Camp Firelight, or if you're doing Hero Hotline, uh, you can find free resources that go there. Um, and we add things as we go. So uh, there are there's a lot there now, but there'll be some other things coming. When will the items we ordered be available? Um, just about everything should be shipping now. If you um, feel like you have waited too long for something, either email us at cokesburyvbs at cokesbury.com and let us assist you that way, or call 1-800-672-1789. 1-800-672-6789 and our uh, folks can help you there. Should we use a tree or a cabin as Lou's puppet stage? That's a great question, uh, but I really do think that this is where you get to be a unique congregation and make that decision for yourself. Um, we had a test church that did sort of like a cabin thing, and we did had two test churches that did uh, tree uh, setups. So it's really up to you. Uh, wondering about lessons for high school students and adults. Will there be something coming? There is a youth adult guide. Um, and I think we'll probably have that out um, in this next week. Um, it's, it's just about complete um, and it'll be out in the free resources for you. Will we, we receive an email with the discount code for ordering from Cokesbury? Uh, yes, you will. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you more about that when I do some closing announcements. Uh, the reflection guide is a separate piece and it is a, it's a printed piece that's reproducible and it is um, in in your uh, ultimate starter kit if you got an ultimate starter kit there's a printed version and then um, there is a digital version in your digital files in the leader folder but it is separate from bible study but it's a great addition if you don't have a separate um, reflection time Do you have suggestions on how to shorten the puppet skit? Um, so first, I would I would use the um, 
editable, downloadable version that um, are in the digital resources uh, that you can use your digital resources card to access. Um, and I would, I would cut out the things that don't matter as much to you. Um, and uh, I'd have, to, I'd honestly, I'd have to look at it and see what was important to me specifically as a director. And um, at, some, some of our folks cut a lot of the humor. Some people like to leave the humor, um, but there's, there's a lot of um, explanation and um, fun fact type information that you might um, cut. I hope that helps. When is the best time to use the student books? Uh, the student books um, go well with reflection time. If you have some downtime for the students to do some uh, self-instruction time, the other good time for student books uh, tends to be um, uh, sessions like um, uh, crafts and science where if an activity uh, run short and you need to fill some extra time. That's in that. Those are other great times for using the student books. Okay, I have the sign that there are no more questions. Um, thank you so much for uh, spending time with us today and for reaching out. Um, before we say goodbye, I need to let you know about a couple of upcoming events. Uh, first, we're excited for you to learn more about our new curriculum, uh, Cokesbury Kids Big Faith. You can learn by visiting cokesburykids.com slash big faith. Also, keep an eye out for the invitation to um, a virtual training session to answer questions about big faith. Second, um, mark your calendar for Thursday, June 6th, and plan to join us for the announcement of our 2025 VBS theme. Uh, you'll receive an email with details before too long. Um, as a thank you for attending this workshop, you'll also, uh, you will receive an email with a discount code that you can use to purchase your Camp Firelight order online uh, starting uh, today through March 31st. Um, with that, um, I just want to say one more, uh, one more thing. Oh, I see an answer to a question. Maybe this got posted out there, but there is a shortened version of the puppet skit in the preschool kindergarten later that might work for some of you. Um, thank you for the work that you do with our children. Um, thank you so much, uh, for the love and care you put into VBS. Uh, we um, we are here to help you. Uh, please, uh, if you haven't joined our Cokesbury VBS private Facebook group, uh, it is a great place to connect and get assistance. Um, and you can get reach us direct with Co at Cokesbury VBS at Cokesbury.com. It's okay. I'd like to close us with prayer. Loving God, uh, God who is always with us. We are so grateful for you. We are so grateful that we can put our trust in you. Uh, whenever we're afraid or any time, we can put our trust in you. Uh, be with all of these leaders as they do your work, as they serve you, speak your words, and share your love and grace. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, friends. <laughs>